In the past couple of months, Roblox has released two literally game-changing beta features, right? The first one being the AI assistant, right? Where I'm like, write me code, right? And then like, yeah, it's going to generate. And then it's going to be like, yeah, oh, it seems like there was a misunderstanding, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Then we had the texture generator, which is pretty cool. You give it like a model and then you tell it like, oh yeah, I want the model to look like this. And then it makes the model look like whatever you wrote down. But then I got really curious, right? And I just began to wonder like, what other beta features does Roblox have? Because obviously, you know, like, with what we've seen so far with, you know, the assistant and the texture generator, I can only wonder what powers this like beta features, you know, tab can hold. All right. So as you can see, right, not all of these are made equal, but I did want to go through every single one just to show you what Roblox has in mind, what they have in store, right? And just, I don't know, some of these are so stupid, bro. Like, like I said, editable grass length customization. Why? So the first one is aerodynamics, right? Roblox is actually, for some reason, has been putting in more focus on this, this idea of like wind for some reason like i remember is you know I, I would go to like like there's a feature in roblox studio where you can like see wind like you can click on a button and it like shows you the direction of like the wind which like when have you ever needed that like when have you ever joined the roblox game and we're like oh uh the wind in this game is playing a massive role in the gameplay like nobody cares right but yeah for some reason aerodynamics it's a beta feature meaning that roblox actually wants it to work and wants to push it to people like air density fluid forces like who needs that this is where we have face capture okay this is where animation editor will have a face capture button to use a camera to record your own face movements onto an avatar right so seemingly you can animate avatars using your own face because you know how like you know there's like a new feature where like you show your face and then you start talking and then like the little the, the avatar face begins to like mimic what you're saying so this feature seems like it's gonna do the same thing except it's gonna let you save it as like an actual animation like imagine you know you walk up to a character right and like some npc and then you know you press e to hear them talk and then their face begins like speaking like a real person that's actually insanely freaky I actually really don't like this beta feature. Let's all just collectively agree to ignore grass length customization. Live animation creator is one of those things which actually really interests me because I have no clue if this is actually legit or not. So what it's saying here is that the animation editor will have an option where you can transfer three of 3D pose where you can transfer a 3D pose from a video to an avatar. So what I'm asking is like, if you have a video of like a person making a pose, right? Do you just need the video or does it need some like actual 3D model file? Because if it can actually detect like a pose just from a video and apply it to your avatar, the animation possibilities are actually endless. Yeah, so that's radical, yo. Material generator is another AI feature, which I didn't cover because I thought the AI textures were a lot more cooler and just better in general. But yeah, so you can have AI material generator, which just gives you materials, uh, any material you can imagine using text input. I like how they, they hype up their own features in the, in the details tab. Like, bro, I don't think it's anything I can imagine, bro. I used your texture generator, bro. It, I don't know, it didn't go too well for the most part. Yeah, so for the most part, a lot of these are just kind of boring or like, you know, like add flexible layout options to UI list layout. What does that mean? Who knows? You don't know, I don't know, so let's not talk about it. But then we have video uploads, which is the thing that interested me, and it's it enables video uploads uh, for eligible users, right? W who are eligible users? I have no idea. But yeah, a lot of Roblox games don't really rely on videos. Like right now, like it's still possible to actually upload videos. Like I'm pretty sure they have a yeah video frame, right? Where like this is this is like this is a user interface thing where like you can give it uh, the ID of the video and then just have it play, right? But a lot of games just don't use it, right? And from the last time that I remember, it's just because the video is like bad quality it's either bad quality or it's just like too unoptimized for the game meaning that like it just takes too long to load the entire video so what a lot of people do is they still rely on like you know cut scenes and actually like animating their characters instead of using just a basic video right because i feel like i don't know that'd be a lot easier to make but yeah with this being an upcoming beta feature i actually am really interested to see what roblox has in store because right now you know they're dealing a lot more with like you know making like realistic roblox avatars with you know working on the ai uh you know they're, they're trying to like make like more money stuff like subscriptions or whatever but a lot of these beta features i guarantee roblox will come back to them at some point or another right so everything that we are seeing here right now will eventually be like a priority over roblox right whether that be aerodynamics whether that be i don't know face capture video uploads or, you know, the good old uh, grass length customization. It is really interesting to see like almost like the mindset of like uh, the programmers of Roblox, right? And like just how they actually treat their game. Like why is grass length customization a beta feature, right? Why couldn't this just be a basic update to Roblox Studio? So yeah, I mean, leave a comment, you know, let me know what uh, beta feature you found the most interesting. Uh, check out my course in the description. And as always, we are back to basics. 
Thank you for watching.